Um, I feel like today is a watershed moment for us in our young life because I feel like we are signing two of what will eventually be our brightest stars in Kate Thompson and Reagan Strange. Yeah. And tell you, I met Reagan Strange at The Voice about this time a year ago when we went out there to sing with Kirk J on the finale. And I heard this wonderful young lady singing on the show but didn't know a lot about her. But when I got to meet her backstage, and then after we came back to Nashville after that season had ended, and I sat down with she and her mother, I fell in love with the heart of this young lady. And I was blown away by how deep a 15-year-old kid in my mind was and how uh, her vision was so clear with what she wanted to do with her music and her message. Um, she handled herself. If anybody saw season 15 of The Voice, she went through some tough times there in there and uh, really handled herself with complete grace and a maturity level that was well beyond her years. She is um, an amazing young lady and she's an, an amazing singer and I've worked with a lot of singers in this town. I've been in the studio with a lot of different types of singers and I can tell you she definitely has the goods. And I signed her because she's talented, but more importantly, I signed her because of her heart and what she wants to do to be an influence on her generation. So ladies and gentlemen, Reagan Strange. Yeah. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Reagan, and first off I just wanna say I'm so honored and humbled to be a part of the Red Street family. And I can't, first of all, you know, first off, I just wanna give all the glory to God for, you know, just giving me this opportunity, and for Jay for welcoming me onto the label, and just for, the proper team and the Red Street team that's going to help me along the way and to all my friends and family that came out and they drove three or four hours to come see me. I'm just so excited to make some music to inspire people because that's, that's, the, that's the whole goal. And, um, you know, I'm excited. I'm really excited to make some awesome music and I can't wait to share it with everyone. And this young man, Cade, came to me through my good friend Don Cook. He sent me a Dropbox folder, I believe, with some demos. And I was riding in the car with a great friend of mine, Jason Sheff, who sang lead for Chicago for 32 years. And we were casually driving down the road to lunch, and this song comes on, and he goes, we got to turn that up, man. Who is that? I said, oh, it's some kid that Don sent me. He wants me to check out. And we heard this song, and it stopped both of us in our tracks. I could not believe the melody and the lyric and the delivery of the voice. And the more that I listened to the other songs on the Dropbox, the more I, call, I had to call Don and I go, we got to get this kid. What in the world is his name? He goes, well, that's Cade. But I think that he's well on his way to signing with someone else in town. And the chances are slim that we might be able to land him. I was fortunate enough to run into Cade and meet him at um, Soundcheck, I believe. Was it that, is that where we met first? And when I sat down with him, it, it was immediate connection. I knew that uh, he was something that I wanted to be a part of, helping him share his vision and take his ministry to the world. And this, this guy right here is a wonderfully talented writer. He's one of those guys you can put in a, a room with an acoustic guitar, and he can captivate everybody in it. He's amazingly talented, and he also has the kind of heart that I'm proud to be aligned with at our company. And I know that uh, the next year are going to hold great things ahead for him. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Cade Thompson, the lovely blonde in the back. Hey, everybody. My name is Cade Thompson, and uh, I'm so excited to be with all of you today. It's kind of like a, a dream come true, honestly. <laughs> like as a middle schooler, I remember just uh, dreaming of a day to have a record label partnership exactly like this one. And, been a lot of ups and downs throughout the past years, but uh, uh, I remember when I first met Jay and Don and the whole team, something just clicked like right away. I felt like our vision just was aligned and uh, they believed in the songs. And so a special thank you to Matt Armstrong, uh, to Jay, to Don, and uh, the people who believed in me over the years. And uh, I'm excited for next year. Let's go.